New at 6 tonight, an amazing photo of a dust storm in downtown Phoenix. You may have seen it on social media recently, or maybe you even got this and you shared it yourself, saying, oh my gosh, look at this thing. Maybe you thought it was from last week when we had that big dust storm that moved through. But it wasn't. This image is actually from the summer of 2011, taken by a man named Daniel Bryant. Originally purchased by St. Joseph's Hospital for a health magazine talking about valley fever, the photos appeared in multiple other publications as well, including National Geographic, Reader's Digest, even an Asher brochure. And Bryant passed away back in 2012. His photo lives on. A lot of people have been sharing it since last week's dust storm, thinking it was current, not giving credit to the photographer, and that includes American Idol winner and Arizona native Jordan Sparks. The picture appeared on her Facebook, her Twitter, her Instagram accounts. Got a lot of shares off of that. And when someone accused her of stealing the photo, the singer tweeted that she didn't steal anything. She said the picture was all over the internet. Well, tonight Daniel's mother is speaking out, sharing her son's story and letting others know about the origin of this picture. And Carrie Lake reports. It just seems to happen, and, and uh, it, it's pretty frustrating to me to see it. And it's especially frustrating when there is someone else is taking the credit for the picture or acting like the storm just happened and they've just taken this picture. Cindy Bryant talking about this spectacular image taken by her son Daniel of that monster dust storm that swallowed downtown Phoenix on July 5th, 2011. Every summer storm season since then, this photo seems to be making the rounds on social media including this past week. I normally don't have to be the one to, to say anything to them because, again, the big presence, the friendship, people are very much coming to um, his defense. Daniel Bryant died at the age of 33 in November 2012. See, Daniel was gay and he was a victim of a hate crime in Vegas, which really um, put him kind of over the edge yeah. is what happened. Cindy says her son did not come out in high school. He struggled with depression, but photography really changed things for him. It gave him confidence, it, it gave him purpose. He was always with a camera, um, again, since he was a freshman. Knowing his passion for photography, Cindy is giving back in her son's name. She's funding an annual scholarship program for photography students at Centennial High School, where Daniel was enrolled. We were able to choose a student to give a, a very amazing camera to that you know, they could take into they could actually make a living with that camera if they chose to take that direction. Cindy hopes to expand the program to other teenagers. There's a lot of kids out there that, that need that need something for whatever reason that is. It really gave Daniel a direction that he went, he went with the rest of his life and it was it was really very special. Carrie Lake, Fox 10 News. Cindy Bryant is hoping to use her son's art to continue to raise money for teenagers well into the future. Dog